we are encouraging as many of you as will to be a part of the Daniel fast. And you say, what in the world is a Daniel fast? This is something that Daniel did in the Old Testament. In Daniel uh, chapter 10, 10 verses, verses 2, two and three. 3. And I want to read this to you. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. That's 21 days. I ate no pleasant bread, so don't eat bread. Neither came flesh, don't eat meat nor wine, don't eat sweets in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Yes. <coughs> so talk about this just a second. Okay. Well, we started yesterday and my sweetheart had all vegetables and healthy uh, Daniel fast has begun and we want you to be a part of it. So many of you called yesterday and said you were joining us with it. I know several people said they'd been praying about it and then when they heard us talking about it, they decided they were going to join with us for 21 days. And so I just believe that some of you, there are some areas of your life you need God to move, you need some answers and I tell you, putting the prayer and the fasting together is a powerful tool indeed and we're going to believe God over these next 21 days to show us and to lead us and to guide us. And uh, it'll be a wonderful thing. The disciples observed Christ, the great miracles that he did. And they asked him a question. They said, Lord, why can't we do miracles like you're doing? Jesus himself said, this kind of power, these kind of miracles only go about as a result of prayer and fasting. You see, dynamite without fire only has potential, but you put it together and then it's a powerful force. I want to encourage you to join us here at Daystar between now and the end of January to go on a Daniel fast. You can eat fruits, you can eat vegetables, you can eat nuts, you can have a protein shake, but uh, you're, you're saying, I'm going to fast bread, I'm going to fast sweets like sugar, and I am going to fast meat. And you'll be surprised at what will happen to you. Somebody said, the, uh, if you want to form a new habit, do something for 21 days. Some of you need to get into the habit of, of you know, it'd be hard for me to ever give up meat forever, but sugar is not good for you. Many of you, you've got that bulge around the middle. You give up sugar and you'll lose it. Some of you are bordering on being a diabetic. You don't need sugar. It's bad for you. You can get stuff like Joni uses called Stevia. And even Coca-Cola and Pepsi have now come out with a powdered uh, Stevia version. One of them is called Truvia. I don't remember who if it's Coke or Pepsi makes Truvia. But there's all kinds of things like that that you can get. And I guarantee you it'll taste just as good as sugar. Won't have the calories and won't be bad for you. Did you know that when you eat sugar, that it also causes your immune system to go down? Benjamin Franklin said, the best recipe for health, if you're sick, is to fast and to rest. So I want to encourage you today, and if you'll join with us here at Daystar and join great men of God, like my friend, Pastor Jensen Franklin, a free chapel, Church in Gainesville, Georgia, Pastor Stovall Weems of Celebration Church in Jacksonville, Florida, and our pastor, Robert Morris of Gateway Church in South Lake, Texas, and over a million Christians in America and other parts of the world that are fasting between now and the end of January. I want you to call me and say, we're going to join the Daniel Fast. And I want you to include Joni and me in Daystar on your prayer list. During this time, it's not just sitting around not eating, but it's fasting and prayer. In fact, one thing it'd be good to do is instead of sitting around at the table, moaning and groaning over the desserts, you might want to just slip away and uh, go to a, your bedroom or your office or somewhere and just pray. But I encourage you, you try this and see. It won't hurt you, you won't starve to death and it'll actually be good for you. So I hope you'll do it because it will be a blessing in your life.